Hey, are you a white wine drinker that's having a hard time coming around to reds? On today's quick sip, I have two suggestions that may convert you to the dark side. I'm evil like that. I've met a lot of new wine drinkers who say I enjoy drinking whites, but I'm having a harder time with reds. They're either too heavy, too dry, or they give me a headache sometimes. The biggest difference between white wine and red wine is tannin. Tannins come from the skins and seeds of a red grape, and they're what makes the red wine taste more bitter. And contrary to popular belief, red wine headaches are not always because of sulfites. Oftentimes, they're because of tannins. So let's talk about two red wines that are lighter in tannins that may be easier for a new wine drinker to enjoy. Our first wine comes from a very famous grape, Pinot Noir. It's originally from Burgundy, France, but now it's grown all over the world. It's so light in body that it's almost transparent in the glass, and it's often described as having these flavors and aromas of cranberries, red raspberries, and strawberries. Our second wine comes from a grape that is grown in the northern part of Spain near the border with France. And for that reason, it has two names, both a French and a Spanish. In France, it's known as Grenache. In Spain, Garnacha. Grenache is a little darker in color than Pinot Noir, but it's still a fairly light wine. It's got this beautiful garnet gemstone hue to it and a famous flavor of candied cherries and spice. So, can you hear the dark side? Calling? Will you join me? <laughs> if you have questions or thoughts about these wines, leave me a comment below. And if you want easy wine, spirits, and food tips like these, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll top you off with a quick sip every Tipsy Tuesday. Cheers.